possible to deny the positive effect that plants have on people and the environments they're in. There are an infinite amount of plants you could choose to have in your home, but one of them deserves special consideration, aloe vera. It's pretty, is useful as a first aid kit, and easy to grow. In today's video, we'll show you how you can grow aloe vera at home and tell you all about its health benefits. There are hundreds of species of aloe vera, but we're going to talk about lace aloe and soap aloe. Both of these have big, thick leaves and their natural components are very medicinal. According to a study performed by NASA, aloe vera is great at purifying the air and absorbing toxic substances in the environment. And as if that wasn't enough, this plant has several medicinal uses. With its antiseptic and antibacterial properties, aloe vera can be used to cure cuts, scratches, or bug bites. Since it quickly repairs the epidermis tissue, it can also be used to treat burns. Its natural gel is able to renew and hydrate your skin, improve its elasticity, and keep away wrinkles. The gel is also prescribed to people with psoriasis, pruritus, or eczema. Its natural fiber relieves colds and tones your digestive tract. When used regularly, it can treat irritable bowel syndrome, ulcers, gastritis, swelling, and heartburn. After learning some more about its benefits, you're probably asking yourself how you can plant aloe vera at home. Since it's really resistant and doesn't need a lot of attention, it's really easy to grow. Find the sunniest part of your home, preferably outside. If you don't have a garden or yard, you can use a balcony or windowsill. The most important part is for the aloe plant to get as much sun as possible. Buy a big pot because aloe vera grows quickly and has strong roots. You can use the soil sold at gardening stores. You don't even need to buy a plant or seeds. Just find someone with a plant and ask them for one of the leaves with a few roots and you're set. Water the plant once or twice a month only if you live in a very dry climate. Aloe vera almost doesn't need any water, so be careful not to soak the dirt. Always water your plant at the beginning of the morning, 10 a.m. or at the end of the afternoon, 4 p.m. when the sun isn't as strong. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.